Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we will be solving one quartic equation which is x plus 3 whole power 4 plus x plus 5 whole power 4 equal to 16. We have to find the real solution for the given equation. So x is real. I can see x plus 3, x plus 5, the difference is 2. So midpoint is x plus 4. I will substitute x plus 4 is equal to y. This is our consideration. So once I will consider x plus y equal to 4, first bracket will become y minus 1 and second bracket will become y plus 1 equal to 16. Now there are three methods again. I am not going to solve by all the methods. See conventional method is y minus 1 whole square y minus 1 whole square first one second one is binomial expansion there you will use ncr formula directly you can use or third method is using pascal triangle we can see so there are number of methods if you want then i i am solving actually using pascal's triangle see what is that triangle 1 1 1 this is for a minus b let me write only bracket power is main so 1 2 1 addition of both again 1 3 3 1 see this is for a square you can see a square plus b square plus 2ab third row is for q aq plus bq plus 3a square b plus 3ab square fourth row is for degree 4 quartic add both the numbers 4 Add both the numbers 6, add both the numbers 4, and last is edge. So, your coefficients or multiplier of the expansion would be 14641. This is important. Okay, let me start by writing. See, it will you will write like this first term will be in the decreasing power or degree, and second term will be because of that is 1, so it doesn't make any difference. So, it will be. 1. Important point is in between sign is minus so alternate plus minus sign will come. So it will be y power 4 minus. Now y power 4 means 1 is done. 4y cube 4 is done. Now 6 alternate plus minus. So plus 6y square then 4 alternate plus minus 4y decrease one more power last term is 1 so I will write simply 1 y minus 1 whole power 4 is done similarly y plus 1 whole power 4 so I will write same thing but no sign change all sign must be positive so plus 4y cube plus 6y square plus 4y plus 1 is equal to 16 cancel which are the terms you can cancel. So this term will get cancelled out. What is left? 2 times y power 4 plus 6y square plus 1 is equal to 16. Or in other words, you can write y power 4 plus 6y square plus 1 is equal to 8. Or take 8 to the left side. So equation will be y power 4 plus 6y square minus 7 is equal to 0. This quartic equation is important for us. So let me consider now substitution. Let us write y power 4 plus 6y square minus 7 is equal to 0. Now let us consider, let substitute y square is equal to t. So equation will convert into t square plus 6t minus 7 is equal to 0. Now let us apply quadratic formula, quadratic formula that is minus b, so minus 6 plus minus square root b square, so 36 minus 4ac, so minus 4 a is 1, C is minus 7, so plus 28. 
डिवाइडेड बाई टू ए सो टू माइनस सिक्स प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट सिक्सटी फोर ओवर टू माइनस सिक्स प्लस माइनस एट आई कैन राइट ओवर टू माइनस थ्री प्लस माइनस फोर सो दैट वैल्यू विल बी वन और माइनस सेवन सी वन और माइनस सेवन यू कैन राइट देयर now t was our assumption that was y square so in place of t i will write y square is equal to 1 and y square is equal to 7 y square is equal to minus 7 so i can write 7 i square iota square because we know that iota square is negative 1 so if i will find out take square root both sides here then it will come out plus minus iota root 7 which is invalid because we are solving for real solution complex solution so we will reject okay y square is equal to 1 so y will be by taking square root both sides it will be plus minus 1 so y value is plus minus 1 now y y is actually our considered substitution x plus 4 equal to y so let's put x plus 4 is equal to plus minus 1 so i will write x plus 4 is equal to plus 1 x plus 4 is equal to minus 1 Take away four both sides, so x will be equal to minus three. Take away four both sides in this equation, so x will be equal to minus five. Both are real values, so accepted. Now let's check in the equation. So x is equal to minus three. So I will write. Let me write their equation. Plus x plus five whole power four is equal to sixteen. So if x is equal to minus three, then what I will write here it will be zero plus two power four, which is equal to sixteen. So true. When x is equal to minus three, when x is equal to minus five, it will be minus two raised to the power four, which makes no difference. Means it would be Two power four, and this term will be zero. So again, it is sixteen, which is again true. So our final solution is x is equal to minus three, and x is equal to minus five. Real solution for this question. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give like impression and do subscribe my channel.